Man, I am so excited to ride El Toro. It's been fucking forever. I know, right? It's like my favorite overrated coaster of all time. Empty your pockets, bitch. Hey, what the hell is going on up there? Spread your legs. Wider. Oh, man, you didn't hear? Hear what? Oh, man, you have to get Fris to ride El Toro now. Wait, what? Why the hell would they do that? Is that a fucking selfie stick? How'd you even fit that up there? It's called practice, bitch. I mean, too many people losing shit on the ride, I guess. Oh, fuck. That guard looks so familiar. Yeah, he, he does kind of. Where do I know him from? Oh my god. What? It's them. Who? Dude, we need to go. Dude, what the fuck is going on? Dude, those are the guys from that United Flight video. Holy shit, you're right. Boy, why the hell are they here? I don't know, man. Maybe they hired them on the cheap, but it doesn't matter. We gotta go now. Bruh, why would you be worried? We're white. No, dude, I know that. Dude, I've got a fucking GoPro in my pants. GoPro? Damn. And I thought you were just happy to see me. Shut the fuck up, dude. This is serious. What are we gonna do? Next. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Have you removed everything from your pockets? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Really? Have you? No cameras? Selfie sticks up your asshole? Uh, uh, no. No, absolutely not. Mm. Why don't you check for me, Daddy? I like your uniform. Oh, God. Next. Well, I thought you were going to grab onto my selfie stick, Daddy. <sighs> Next. But my friend has a GoPro he needs you to fish out for him. Get the fuck out of my line. Okay, Daddy. Holy shit, did that just work? Yeah, it did. Now bend over and let me get that GoPro for you. Oh, shut up, you fucking felcher. You know, I think we're good. I, I'm still going to try to get this POV. Oh, yeah, man, that's cool. Just keep it on the DL. Here's our train. Let's go. Please keep your hands and legs inside the vehicle at all times. And have an adventure of a day here at Six Flags. Great adventure. All clear. Dispatch. Wait. Stop that train. Stopping. Is that a fucking GoPro? What? No. Fuck. Seriously? I mean, there's a dude legit fucking the coaster back there. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, sweet cornflakes. That's just Larry. He's been fucking El Toro since 2005. Hey, Larry. Hey, Debbie. Oh, 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 scoops of sweet granola. Get the fuck up, you piece of shit. You're not riding anything today, asshole. No, wait. No, no, stop. No, don't do it! Ah! No, not it up! No, stop it! Ah! ah! What are you doing? Go, no, man! No, no, see you no, when no, I get no, back, no, bro! No, no, no. If you want family friendly, go listen to Coaster Fucking Radio. Well, that's embarrassing. Welcome to episode nine of Ride This One Podcast. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm a random listener that uh, sent in your uh, reply to your request to be interviewed. So I'm the first sucker, I guess. <laughs> you're not I don't the first sucker here. You're the first sucker. That's, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh, I God. know that you're not the first sucker. I mean, we, we had Garrett on for two fucking episodes. Oh, hi, Garrett. Oh, hey, what's going on? <laughs> God, all these people keep getting out of my fucking basement. <laughs> you know, that lock is really easy to pick. You got just got to change that password. One, two, three, four, five is not a secure password. Got to add that six on there. Well, now I do have to change it. Thank you. Jesus. Anytime. Any, what I can do, I do what I can do for the people who might get locked up. So, okay, Mark, yes, you yeah. you are the uh, first uh, victim. I'm I'm gonna <laughs> okay. I'm gonna use that word. You're the first victim that we've had here. Now, just just let's let's make sure it's like I I don't I don't fucking know you. And just yep. confirming, Goliath, 
You you don't know Mark at all. I've never mm-hmm. met him before. And Garrett, no. I I have not met Mark either. How how did we find Mark here? You know, uh, what was it? Episode two, maybe one. I don't remember. But you guys are asking for random. You know, anyone to, in the community to to interview. So I uh, replied, and here we are. I guess <laughs> you say random. Are you sure you weren't just reading my grinder profile? <laughs> I that could be. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and for those who don't know what Grinder is, ask Garrett because he's a hoe and he'll know. Wait, does, <laughs> I, what I want to ask is, does your profile just say any random at all? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, mine, mine says, you know, height, stats, dick length. What does yours say? Well, stuff about fisting. <laughs> what do you Normal expect? Stuff. You know, no. normal stuff, normal stuff. I always post about fisting. I mean, you know, that that happens all the time. Yeah, I tried to put my dick length in there, but they didn't allow <laughs> numbers that big. So oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, they, they didn't allow points. Put it that way. No fractions. Shit. Uh. Besides, Americans <laughs> but, aren't very good at fractions, so. You, you, I don't think you get any responses anyway if, if you put fractions in. If you need to include a fraction, there's an issue to start with. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Six inches and three quarters, I swear. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Oh, Whatever hey. you say, sweetheart. That's 5.75 <laughs> in everyone else's head. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, Mark. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And and in case any of y'all other fuckers out there are getting an idea, we didn't just say, yeah, sure, come on the show. I did screen him because you never know who's crazy. So we tested him for <laughs> HIV and syphilis and a few other things just to yep. make sure that we weren't going to get anything in the after, you know, gangbang. That we <laughs> yep, all clean. It wasn't in that guy's uh, parking lot, was it? Oh, God. <laughs> maybe. Uh, maybe. And actually, <laughs> poor Mark knows nothing about this guy, so he's no, not he going to get that show. <laughs> but uh, you, you'll find out tonight when our new episode comes out. All right. <laughs> so it turns out Mark is just the right amount of crazy to be on Ride This One podcast. And we're very happy to have him. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for having me. So, Mark, what do you want to talk about? Um, whatever you know, whatever you guys are down. I know um, in the screening, you know, we mentioned about Conneaut Lake, and I got some funny stories about that place. So, I'm always down to talk about that. I don't think there's and, a funny a story that wouldn't be funny about that part. <laughs> and then um, also, uh, I know you guys talk about you know Disney nerds all the time. Well, my home park is Cedar Point, so I deal with my own craziness of Cedar Point nerds that I think, honestly, are just as bad as Disney nerds. So, oh, yeah. Always down to rip on them. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Were you Let's taking pictures of all you people? All right. God. Twitter-worthy right here. <laughs> all right, good. Wait a second. Could you Photoshop 50, 60, 100 pounds? You know, yeah. often when we have people on our show, we ask them questions. You know, it's as simple as that. Um, I don't have my fucking list up here, so I'm just going <laughs> to pull one out of my ass. Sounds good. <laughs> How about, let's start off. What's your home park? What's your favorite theme park? Thank you, right. Garrett. Okay. Well, my home park is Cedar Point, but I will say that my favorite theme park is Silver Dollar City. Oh! And... Oh! Ooh. Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! Okay. So you Slater's going to ask you to marry him now. <laughs> well, I can't do that, but you can be, I don't know, fuck boy number, whatever I'm going to do. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, it is thank you. Thank you. All right, that's right. Yes. We're saying it here. Silver Dollar City, better than Cedar Point. Come at me, bitches. Yep. Oh, Boom. And Hollywood, don't forget. Can you hear all of the coaster nerds unsubscribing right now? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I don't care. I speak the truth. I'm about truth. Okay. 
Mark, tell me, what's your favorite part about Silver Dollar City? Um, well, Silver Dollar City, I mean, I honestly, I think Outlaw Run is an amazing coaster. But besides that, um, just the variety of everything. I mean, I honestly think there's something for everyone there. The the cave tour, I mean, I know it's not a little fair to say Dollywood, but hell, you got a cave in your amusement park. It's fucking awesome. I mean, it's 90 degrees outside, go underground. 55, <laughs> cool off, it's awesome. That's the same logic Slater uses for his basement. Just, just right. come down into my basement. It's 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 cool down here. Escape uh, the heat. <laughs> escape All the right. heat. He's not really being completely fair and honest with saying go down in the cave to cool off. You will on your walk down. But there is a like thousand step walk up out of the cave. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and don't forget the little fun thing they tell you. Oh, if this old train doesn't work, we're going to have to do it all backwards and walk Guess up all what? the stairs. Guess what? My fat ass has had to do that. That's true. <laughs> I know, joke, they actually made you go walk the stairs again. Yes, I had to wow. go back up and out. So it took <sighs> an hour tour. Once it was all said and done, was over three hours, and you are not nice and cool by the time you leave, okay? You are sweaty and disgusting, and no one loves you anymore. Is this true, Mark? I mean, Have you ever experienced this? I, I've experienced the cave tour, I think, three times, and they've always said that, but I've never had the, the uh, I guess, the unfortunate situation of having to do that. But you do have to cram your ass into those seats with, like, say they're made for four people and six, seven fucking people are sitting on, on top of each other just to ride this thing up. It goes five miles an hour. All right, Mark, you skinnier than me, bitch. It's not made for four. It's made for three at best. Fuck you. <laughs> Whatever it takes to not have to walk up those freaking stairs whatever it takes exactly yeah. exactly <laughs> whatever it takes i'll ride whatever yeah. it takes to not have to walk up those stairs oh really those are dangerous slater, words get, on the podcast. slater slater i'll get in your lap if i have to ride up in your lap <laughs> i don't want to die no if you're in his lap then i'll sit in your lap Goliath. that sounds like we'll fun just... It's efficiency at its finest, is what it is. Exactly. Uh, how, how many people can we get in the car on the cave ride? You know what is not efficient right now? This fucking podcast. <laughs> bitch, bitch, bitch. Bitch, bitch, bitch. You not recording right. You're not recording right. You know, talking about Summer Dollar City, though, it brings me back to my childhood. I, I, and you know what? There is something that happened this week that immediately brought back memories from my childhood. And I'm assuming all three of you have to know exactly what I'm talking about. Huh? Okay, sure. someone got hit in the face <laughs> with a fucking bird, and it happened in 1999. Oh. And most of us, <laughs> other than Goliath, who's old as shit, is... <laughs> we're See. children. See, when I think of dude getting hit in the face with a bird on a roller coaster, I think Fabio. That's my first. Oh yeah, right. That makes sense. So, that was pretty recent too. I don't know. <laughs> that was 1999. Was that? Damn. 1999. It was the year wow. that Apollo's chariot opened. Wow. Um, how old were you in 1999? Wow. Oh, gosh. I don't even know. I don't want to do. Uh, twelve. <laughs> I was ten. There you I go. Was Nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> and I had my driver's like... license in an apartment. <laughs> yeah. You, you yeah. But no, this was the best. It, I, I, I saw this video and it was immediately like, oh my gosh, it happened again. <laughs> it's great. It's fantastic. It really so is. we're talking it's, about it's amazing Ferrari. Land. Yeah, oh, Ferrari yeah. Land, the worst idea for a theme park, in my opinion, ever. I couldn't be more bored at the idea of it. They <laughs> I mean, built a shittier version of both Top Thrill Dragster and King Ka. Does it actually work? It does. Therefore, it's better. If it's if it's continuing to work, it's better than both of those. Well, it just opened. Let's give it a few months. Yeah. <laughs> we'll revisit it in season two. We'll but here's that. the best part of it. It's an Intamin, 
and it's brand new, and it's already killed something. I'm just saying. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't help it. On the opening day. So, so for you that don't know out there, what actually happened is on the opening day of Ferrari Land. Uh, on was this the very first train? One of the very first trains. Media Day. Yeah. yeah. Media Day. Yeah. On media. It day. launched, and they caught this beautiful footage of a man getting hit in the face by a pigeon. I think it was a pigeon. It was a pigeon. And the best part, here's the best part. It hits him on the way up the hill. He (laughs) grabs the dead bird now that's in his neck. He looks at it, like, throws like, ah, throws it. And he looks at the guy to his right and is like, can you believe that happened? And puts his hands right back up. It's like, (laughs) wow! Well, what else can you do on a roller coaster when you're 400 feet in the sky or however high this is? First of all, it's only like 300 feet tall and shittier ride. It's so tiny. Three hundred feet. Gee. But I don't know. I guess if it was me, I'd just be horrified for the like five seconds that it was going to take me to get back to the station. (laughs) He's covered in blood on his face and his neck. Well, maybe as a guy, and he's he's used to being covered in blood and mm, red. What kind of guy is this? Period sex. Period. What, Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> so, what's really funny about that that video is that his buddy there next to him is like is totally oblivious to what happened. So when they hit the very top hat peak of the coaster, he's like, dude, I just got hit by a roller or by a by a, a bird on this roller coaster. And his friend just goes, what, you want a high five? And then realizes <laughs> what happened and goes, oh, wait, I'm just going to check myself to make sure there's no blood on me. <laughs> but it was a total fake out. He totally thought he was going for a high five and just got totally bailed on. <laughs> well, wasn't the uh, Fabio incident, wasn't that on their media day or opening as well? Yes, it was. So it really was like history. Of now, I'm going to say this guy that it happened to was no Fabio. By any means, probably about as opposite as Fabio as you can get. Oh, come on. He was a little bit cute. I'm talking about as far as muscle. Okay. He was really skinny. So he's still good looking. A good looking dude. Not a muscle. He's a good look. Good looking. I didn't want to vomit when I saw him. Okay. (laughs) He's no Jim Reed Anderson. (laughs) (laughs) So everything else on the opening day of Ferrari Land went pretty smoothly. Aside from that, and, uh, yeah, the people out in Spain are pretty stoked to have a brand new Intamin launch coaster, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, I think they're probably excited to have anything new. I mean, they don't get new stuff that often. I mean, they have, I mean, that park, I mean, Port Aventura is like, wow, that, that park looks sick. I, I really, really want to go, but new stuff doesn't happen too often. That's right. Well, there's some new stuff happening out in Florida as well, right? At Legoland. Yeah. Like always, the spoiled <laughs> fucking assholes <laughs> yeah. that they I are. Know, right? It's like a fucking game of Minecraft over there. They're just like, we're going to build whatever the hell we want. Mm. We got the money. We got the land. This is that same Lego resort that we spoke about previously, right? No, the the one we the one that we talked about previously was a castle and medieval themed. This one is actually themed after a beach town. Ooh, I've okay. never seen one of those in Florida before. Oh, geez, yeah. a beach town. They're really stretching their theme. Whoa, they really? Are. <laughs> oh gosh, I can't okay. wait. Shatter that glass ceiling. Never thought Margaret, we'd see that in Florida. Margaret, I found the perfect beach town to retire. Let's <laughs> go to Florida. What do you oh mean we're goodness. already in Florida? I forgot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why is this happening? Stop, Lego. You have hit movies. You have hit theme parks. You have hit resorts. Fuck you. Stop. <laughs> Yet nothing in the Midwest where I fucking want it. No. no. Fuck you guys. Nope. Well, that's because people aren't flying out to the Midwest to drop thousands of dollars on a vacation. But they are to go into the cave that we have here, haven't you, (laughs) That's a massive (laughs) selling point. (laughs) Come visit Missouri's giant hole. We came from the Midwest to the hole in Missouri. (laughs) 
correct? Uh, his home, is correct. His his closest park is or his his local park is Cedar Point, so that means he's in the Midwest. So we went from Midwest to Midwest. You don't see I somebody did. from Tennessee or from California going to take a look at the cave. <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> So, Mark, have you heard about this Legoland resort out in Florida that they have going on? Yeah. Um, well, actually, I haven't heard any of the the uh, new developments. But, yeah, I was wondering, I guess, do you need to rent a kid from Uncle Kevin to go to Legoland? <laughs> <laughs> you, do. Mean, yeah. you do. You do. need a kid you to do. go I, here? Is this like Chuck E. Cheese status? I believe so. <laughs> Definitely don't want to get in the ball pit. I mean, I've always wanted to go, but I don't I don't have any kids. So are they going to be like, what is this guy doing here? This is the kids part. Hey, OK. I would like to point out that there is a Bricks Beach bar with signature cocktails and draft beer, which means that this is not just for kids. Kids can go fuck themselves. <laughs> this is an adult Lego, at least restaurant bar. OK, right. here's the thing. If kids could go fuck themselves, they could also go to the bar. True. So, I think I just wish kids would disappear from all theme parks because they're for adults, oh. goddammit. And you yeah. know what else? <laughs> yes. There's two levels of children that I would like to disappear. Children in strollers <laughs> and children with basketballs, especially children with basketballs. But you know what? Those basketballs, I was at Dollywood yesterday, and they found the perfect way to deal with the basketball kids. In their Mother Africa show, they were using the basketball kids to bounce the basketball into in time with the show and it was like it was like a ghetto version of blue man group they you they were bouncing the basketball all right all right all right i'm gonna be really careful because because right here in this this short sentence you've used the term <laughs> basketball africa show <laughs> and ghetto and i'm not sure if i can leave this in <laughs> 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 oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you have to leave it in. <laughs> yes. Of course yeah. I am. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah. I love watching the video of you here on Skype, Lyeth, because you look like a dubbed over Asian film. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say yes. I was gonna say I was little, like the, oh, the mouth delay. is not matching. Like for everyone else, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know. You know what? Our show quality is as good as Grim Grinning Host right now. Such don't a, insult like, Grim Grinning Host by saying that. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> did they ever give you a callback? They did. I'm on the list. Whatever Ooh, that means. Congratulations. So, I'm on the list. Um, well, now that's on air, so they have to they have to hold you to that. Right. You can hold that's them That's right. That. You know what? I'm, I'm going to do that right now. Grim Grinning Ghost just told me I'm going to be on their show as a guest. So I'm going to now. Would, here, Slater, here, let me let me give you a suggestion. You should probably call them by the right name. It's Grim Grinning Hosts, not Grim Grinning Ghosts. Okay, yeah, I get that. But, you know, I don't really listen to their show, so I don't know. <laughs> You just want to whore yourself out like Drew the Intern. We understand. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, I think we have more questions for you, Mark. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, yes, we I, do. I, so, I'm going to ask you a question that we have asked every single person that's come on our show. Um, we are working on a book, albeit very, very slowly, called The Coaster Sutra. <laughs> so, I'm sure you know what question I'm going to ask you. Yeah. I need you to pick a ride, your favorite okay. ride probably, that you would like to have sex or have some type of sexual experience on. And I need to describe what that sexual experience is and how it's going to work. And definitely is as much detail as possible because Goliath is going to try to make a really quick sketch <laughs> here. Trying to stick figures. He always makes the boobs huge. Just, just okay. they're huge. <laughs> Well, I do like Dollywood, so that's. I mean, if that didn't if that didn't clue you in, sounds good. Um, well, I don't think anyone has brought up the idea of, say, a log ride. Oh so no, that's what I would go with, and I would probably go with uh, Knott's Timber Mountain log ride because Ooh. it's longer. 
I'm uh, wet you're... already hearing about this. <laughs> that sounds so, expensive because I'm pretty sure it's like four hundred and ten dollars for head on that ride. Or no, no, that's just what they sold their head for. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a knee slapper. Oh, yes. Oh, oh Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Corny motherfucker. But, um... <laughs> 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 I, I think the solution works for both um, gay couples and straight couples. I mean, straight oh, couples. Oh, you don't have to be uh, CPC like that. That's hey, really kind um, to consider us, but we consider <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, I'm, obviously you sit behind the other person. And, you know, oh. there's a rail to hold on. There's no seat belts. If you get wet, no one's going to suspect anything because you were on a water ride. You're genius. Oh, that's it. Oh that's my it. god! I have a whole new vision of dark rides now, like or of of log rides. Holy shit! Yeah. yeah. I just Next feel time, sorry for the person who does that on "It's a Small World." That can't no. be good for a guy. <laughs> it's a small world after all. <laughs> it's a, yeah. No, it's <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Is there a camera and stuff on there? Well, yes. the, the best part is, is the camera is usually at the drop, so but right. it's usually gonna take a picture of your face, and you know, right. so perfect you've got, opportunity. You've got like a little barrier from the log yeah. to right. kind of hide everything. That's right. perfect, yeah. and you got handles oh my to God. hold on and thrust, and even and the <laughs> smell—it smells like a chlorine pool in there the whole yes. way through. You're so set. Oh, oh my, my God. God, Garrett is way too excited about this. I cannot <laughs> yes. wait. He's the next headline on Screamscape. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's going to be great because he's so going to get arrested. And I cannot wait. And RTO so... will bail you out of jail because we want that exclusive. I was going to say, as soon as you motherfuckers bail me out with all your fancy podcast money, mm-hmm. I will come on the show and tell you all about it. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be great. We'll, we'll definitely do that. <laughs> but see, now when I thought about this, I'm like, the disadvantage, Florida is at a diff- disadvantage because their fl- flume ride, you got to sit next to the person. No, that's not as that's fun. That's true. You got to uh, have a traditional true. log flume. So, right. Right. So, yeah, Disneyland, yes, will work. But In Florida, you're stuck with handies, unfortunately. Yes. You have an idea of what you want to do in that flume. Now, in, in your real life, do you have somebody that you could do this with? Are, are you with anyone? Yes. Yeah, um, I have a girlfriend, and... Um, you know, she comes to a lot of uh, the parks oh, with me. A, a girlfriend? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. You know, it's been nice having you here today. <laughs> but we only interview gay people. <laughs> no, no, don't leave. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Please. Please don't leave, leave me with these faggots. Shut up. No. no, 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 no. Okay. So how long have you two been together? A um, little over, I guess. Almost two and a half years, I guess. So. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Now, is she well a dork like like you? You know, into coasters <laughs> and all that shit. Um, yes and uh, yes. No, but, no. Uh, the answer is yeah. no. <laughs> the answer is no. Anytime somebody is just like, oh well, oh, you know, no, she goes hey. with you out of pity because she loves you, <laughs> and that's the only reason. Um, yeah. So I'm sure you've seen the uh, Facebook posts of. Uh, I want a girl that likes GCI, RMC, all that. She knows all those companies, and she's definitely an Intamin fan. Uh, that's that's her favorite. She does think the B and M's are a little for- forceless. So what you're saying is she doesn't want anything that's reliable. <laughs> she wants some force to it. She wants think- a wild ride, Goliath. Yes. She wants some unreliable and deadly. You know, here's the thing. She she likes something with force. So, sir, that speaks about a lot about you, perhaps, in the bedroom. So, kudos. Ooh, yeah. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. Uh, <laughs> so, there's more news we should talk about. I'm looking at our list here, and I don't know what the fuck this is. Somebody help me. <laughs> yeah. So, Tokyo Disneyland's $637 million edition. Thanks, Tokyo. What the hell is it? So Tokyo Disneyland is actually is in the process of creating a six hundred and thirty seven million dollar update. They're adding a whole couple a whole new land based on Beauty and the Beast. So if you go there, is that gonna make you gay? <laughs> Why? Know. Just because they have a gay character in there now? I mean, you know, we're 
boycotting theaters that show that movie. So, you know, I just had to ask that question. I need that as a gif. Gif? I don't know what team are we on there. But that, yes, you dancing like that. That's like the gayest shit I've seen today. (laughs) Yes, it was. Yes. Coming soon, an RTO drag show, but only the worst drag you've ever seen. The worst drag you've ever seen. In fact, I think if we ever start doing meetups, let's do drag shows. Let's make people dress in drag. Hell yeah. And it'll be awful. It'll be absolutely bitch, awful. Bitch, I look fabulous in heels. I'm Just sure you wait. do. Let's Just heels. Back. Just oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what better way to make your ass look good? <laughs> God. Okay. And the straight dudes are like, what? I, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> unsubscribe, unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. God. All right. Let's forget Mark for a second. And, and Garrett, let's go to your side of the country. Um, <laughs> well, we're, we're, we're not so, finished with, we're not finished yeah, with we, Disney. Uh, the- we still have to talk more about Disney. We promise yes, we do. A fucking Disney podcast. Well, I'm excited about it. Big Hero Six ride. Okay, that's, that's is that what they're putting okay. in? They're putting a Beauty and the Beast area, a live entertainment the- theater, and a attraction themed around the Disney film Big Hero Six. I think that's gonna be pretty cool. How does that equal that much money, though? Six hundred and thirty-seven million, right? They hired the guys that Dollywood used to create their parade. Money well spent. <laughs> Exactly. Money well spent. So what is it? But what is this Big Hero Six ride? That's my question. Because if it's just like a weird Dumbo ride, like they have that weird puppy character, <laughs> they're laid out flat, and you're riding in his back. Actually, it, <laughs> it, it it appears that it's a Dumbo ride, but you're being pulled by Big Hero Six. Okay, so it's like those Mater things. What were those Ooh. things called? Um, oh. Yeah, they've been putting those everywhere. Oh. Disney's getting clony. They're just giving different themes. They're just being more original with their names. Yeah, they're definitely getting clony. Yeah, if it's a different continent, I guess I can't complain too much, you know. So, oh well. I mean, um, you, know, you did hear the rumors that came out about them bringing light, Tron Light Cycle to both Disneyland and Disney World, right? Now, that Ooh. I'll fucking talk about. That yes. I'll talk about. I am Tron obsessed. It was so pissed when they canceled the <laughs> third film. I was so mad because I love Tron because it's pretty and it makes me think about when I used to snort a bunch of coke in the clubs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh. back when I used to take my nephews to the theme parks. I don't know. Something family friendly. <laughs> I was not a drug addict. So, Garrett, let's, uh, let's forget Mark over here for a minute and let's go to your side of the country because there's some shit going down at Knott's fucking Berry Farm and we are not talking about what's happening in the log ride right now. (laughs) No, that's on a future episode, right? No. Right. No, there has already been some shit going down at Knott's Berry Farm and this is kind of exciting and kind of not at the same time because uh, who knows what could happen. But before we jump into, like, the big news, I would like to mention that uh, they, they've they added a little something-something to Coast Rider, which is their uh, wild mouse coaster that they have over in the boardwalk section of Knots. They've decided that they needed to add some shin restraints to the most mild-mannered ride on the side of the park. I don't understand it. Or they why? think they're RMC. Either. They're they're trying to be RMC. <laughs> right. They're they're gonna add an inversion. That's what they're doing. They're they gonna Here, here's my theory. Yes. Here's my theory, you guys. Here here's my theory. What they're doing is they're reducing the amount of people that can ride it. So that they can say, Oh, there's a lack of riders on this ride. We need to get rid of it. So we can make room for our Giga coaster. That's what it is. If you look at where Coast Rider is. It's right in sure. that area where the Giga is going to be. You, you have a, a, a point here. It's probably not going to happen. I mean, they're not going to shut down Coast Rider. But at the same time, that area is it's totally getting revamped. Do, do you actually ride that? Coast Rider? I love Coast yeah. Rider. It's a fun little, you know, it's a fun little wild mouse 
coaster. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but if it's a walk on, then I would totally hop on it any chance I got. Um, Wait a second. Now, I'm pretty sure the other day you said my dick was a walk on. So that I was trying to avoid that. Oh, <laughs> I thought uh, you were salty about that still. Oh, mm. I am so salty. Okay, bitch. <laughs> I know, I salty. can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I still got the taste on my tongue. <laughs> my question is, do you think you'll actually be able to fit on it? Them adding shin restraint. I mean, you're tall, right? I'm a little nervous. I'm pretty tall. I'm 6'3". So it's, it's not unheard of for me to have to squeeze into a small ride, but this ride was already tight to begin with, so I don't really know. I know for a fact that my fat ass couldn't fit in it. I tried a couple weeks ago. How tall are you? I'm You're six like 6'5", five. Five, right? 6'5". Yeah. That's yeah. huge. I mean, I am the only normal person on this podcast. I'm 5'10". And I five have 11. a legit theory. <laughs> Okay, I have a legit theory why these shin guards are coming on. And, and I, I'm being serious here. Shin, card, shin guards offer one thing. The ability to lower the height limit on a ride. Oh, okay. but it's so, already pretty low. It is already pretty low, but here's the thing. They're going to put in, I'm just, hallelujah Jesus, I'm believing. They're going to put in a giga coaster, but... Due to limited land, it's going to have to go somewhere through or on top or near that structure. And so there is going to be a pretty strict height limit starting next year on that coaster. Mm. So they need a lower limit to allow for more people to ride, younger mm. kids to ride. So that's why shin guards. It's a stretch, <laughs> sure. It is. But it's the only fucking reason I can think of why the fuck would you do that? So is it going to be a giga suspended coaster? So you have to watch your head? <laughs> <laughs> oh god uh there was already one raptor joke in this episode <laughs> sorry not really i had to make the joke when i see the jokes i have uh, to make them mark so, you're being really quiet i i'm all right I don't know. talked enough all right garrett <laughs> what were you saying so i just real quick want to say what i think they're doing over there and I think, yes, they might be putting a new coaster there because they ripped out the barbecue joint that was right in front of Boomerang. Now, their, their featured tower, um, what's it called, Sky Cabin, is permanently closed to be determined, right? The bathroom tower, you mean? <laughs> the bathroom tower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, yeah, they're... they're Totally, and now with Boomerang going, they're going to get rid of Boomerang at the end of the Boysenberry Festival. So that area is going to be empty. They could be putting a Giga Coaster there, which means they need new insurance policies, which means they need to cut costs somewhere else. And if they slap some shin guards on Coast Rider, maybe they're getting a little bit of a break on what they're paying over there. That's my theory awesome. on why there's shin guards going on. And I think it, it might be tied to a Giga Coaster. Let's hope. Yeah, we're all going to look really, really, really stupid when it's just a shitty, shitty <laughs> SLC that they put in there. <laughs> like, we're going to get a giga. They're putting T4. Well, you know, if it was Six Flags, they'd throw VR on it. Uh, uh, so, yeah, everyone, let's be honest, everyone's, like, in the back of their mind, excited. about 2018 is going to be an insane year. Every park is apparently getting a new roller coaster in 2018. Uh, they better be. Ah! Yes. Six Flags <laughs> over George is getting a new roller coaster. No, they're not. Y'all aren't getting shit. You aren't getting shit. You're not getting shit till 2020 at least. At least. He's Mark. almost crying. He's sitting there <laughs> almost crying because he knows it's true. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we hey, maybe Six Flags uh, bought one of those 40 fle free fly coasters for us. We got ooh, space. Could we? Cutting you know, edge. Ooh. One of the first of its kind in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> in Atlanta. No, no, Atlanta. you're not that lucky because here's what's going to happen. They're going to take the Zach spin from Magic Mountain and move it to Georgia. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> we'll pay you to take it. <laughs> Uh, as long as they don't take out the Viper, I'll be okay. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. Uh, so, Mark, what roller coaster are you most excited for for 2017? Or, 
hell, even 2018. 2019 or 20 if you go to the European parks. If you're super psychic and you can see into like 2030, <laughs> you know, let us know. Hey, Mark, well, let's keep leading on this question. We're not actually okay. going to let you answer it. Okay. Oh, hey, Mark, well, by the way, I have more shit to add to this question. Well, Wait a second, not yet, Mark. Not yet. Not yet. Because, you see, <laughs> right. we can't just let someone answer a fucking question. We also have to talk. You well, I'm sure. Wait a second, Mark. I'm not done yet. <laughs> I have another thought, but I need to add on to well, this. Well, here, here. Since we'll you guys like to... six hours of fucking audio. Rude. So what? Well, not if salty. You, if you guys like to talk so much, how about you guys guess? I mean, my home park's Cedar Point. What do you think? The new we're excited VR about coaster. Cedar Point Shores. Obviously. Obviously. Those drop slides, of course. Yeah. Nothing's going on in Frontier Town. I don't know what you're talking about. No. Nothing's coming. No. Of course not. Not no, at all. Definitely not. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, mean Streak would be whatever it ends up being will probably be what I'm most excited for. But a Giga I Nuts mean. would be, you know pretty exciting but to have an rmc at my home park yes that would be amazing have they still not confirmed anything about mean streak the only thing they did was that tease on april fools and it was on the official cedar point twitter like at least they acknowledged something but yeah nothing but i'm hoping in traditional cedar point fasting i'm still skeptic because gatekeeper fucking sucks val raven sucks (laughs) sucks <laughs> those restraints ruined dive coasters i was excited for a dive oh. coaster bell raven blows my god wow. I, officially, I love mark he hates <laughs> all the rides i fucking hate val raven and i haven't even ridden it it's a piece of shit and i know it yeah yeah I know it. I, i'm pointing to you like on my screen <laughs> like i'm like you can tell like i'm pointing in your face like i don't know <laughs> oh. so actually i have to get this reaction <laughs> when you saw the animation for Val Raven, was your first reaction not like, oh, you're kidding, right? Like, you thought it was a joke. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I saw that. I don't know if you guys remember. There was a thing, um, I think Coaster Radio or someone else, like, tweet uh, before it was officially announced. Him. He's talking about Coaster fucking Radio Slater. Oh, yes, Coaster, Coaster fucking, fucking Radio. radio. <laughs> but beforehand, they they tease the layout i think or or it got leaked out and i saw it and i was like okay maybe but then yeah the animation and like i said those trains those restraints they just ruin it like the only one the only coaster i think they work on is banshee and even then i'm a little bit skeptic for those but yeah what's your main complaint with those type of restraints well especially on a dive coaster so the dive coasters like i've been on oblivion i've been on chica and i've been on griffin every single one of those because of the type of restraint, you come when when it holds you on the holding brake, you come out of your seat like a Ooh. little bit, and that adds wow. to the um, scariness or anticipation or whatever. Val right. Raven really doesn't do that. You're in so tight, you got this stupid vest. It like it ruins the best moment of a dive coaster. I think like it's just and the the roll. It's so slow. It I like speed on coasters. It sucks. <laughs> You know, they they could have maybe used that money to put at any other of their desperate parks, but no. Cedar Point needed another B&M that they half-assed. They must have gotten like a two-for-one deal or something. That's what I'm assuming. (laughs) Well, you know what? Hey, you guys, you know, I, I have a brilliant idea. What if Six Flags put one of those in, but if, you know, if Six Flags put one in, they would fucking put VR on it, Right. Of course, I mean would. that's that that's the perfect thing yeah. for a drop thing <laughs> is VR. This does now sound like coaster fucking radio. <laughs> yes. You're right. Uh, that's, that's, You're right. Don't don't forget the little guns with the lasers. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be a, it, without uh, a a, dr- a dive coaster VR headset laser ride. Right. That's got to be. Yes. Yeah. They almost got it right too. I hope they're. At least keeping track of my score, where he, you know, go at the end and say, "Hey, I beat you." Only if it's made by uh, Triotech. Uh, yes. I'm sorry. Are they still in business? 
Because <laughs> no so. one fucking cares about them. I know. I don't know why they keep making it into the news. They're nice guys. They make okay dark rides, but... You know what? Yeah. I met a rapist once that was a nice guy. <laughs> right. So that doesn't mean <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I like Voyage. I'm just going to say it, but... Yeah. Uh, you know, these 70 theaters you see popping up all over the place. We know why you like Voyage. I mean, obviously. We all know why you like Voyage. <laughs> yeah, we discussed that. A couple episodes ago, we discussed why you like Voyage. You, you, don't have to, you don't have to remind us. If you're curious what happened on the Voyage to Iron Reef, go listen to episode six of Ride This One. That's right. Well, enough about Triotech. What I heard is that VR goggles are okay at Six Flags, but GoPros aren't. Well, of course, because <laughs> nothing is more secure than a VR headset on my head, right? <laughs> Except for totally. not. Especially when it's done by a Six Flags employee. You know it's really secure then. Of course. Absolutely. <laughs> Hopefully the screen isn't broken. That's that's what I'm praying that you know the screen isn't broken because that there's nothing worse than have, seeing a little spider web on your screen when you're trying to <laughs> ride an SLC. Oh wait, that was my VR drop tower experience. <laughs> I have a fun VR story for you guys. I went to England in October of last year and I rode Galactica, which made me nauseous. But anyway, before the ride start, I saw a bug crawling over my screen so it was somewhere in the goggles ew and the right we had started what? going up the lift hill there was nothing i don't know where the bug was oh. but i saw the oh, that. like an ant yes so oh we will tragically find out that he dies from bugs laying eggs in his brain <laughs> oh it's it just... been lovely knowing you mark uh, <laughs> so See, the new trend is take VR the fuck off and just put like a box full of bugs over your Ooh. face. So when you're riding <laughs> yeah. the coast, I bet you yeah. that's a lot cheaper, too. That's what knots will do during their haunt. <laughs> it does sound like a knot haunt, doesn't it? Yeah, so it imagine does. taking off into space and seeing an ant outline <laughs> crawl across. On the internet, we actually found pictures of a VR headset on the bottom of an, e an SLC at Six Flags. Apparently, this picture has been circulating through Reddit. Okay, so Goliath, what what was what's the dealio with this? Was this taken? Where was this even taken? This was taken. I don't know what park it was at. It didn't. They didn't say what park it's at. And I'm a terrible okay. coaster boy. I don't know which park it <laughs> is. It's titled "Let's Play Spot the Thing That Doesn't Belong Here." <laughs> Well, it's 2017, so it's VR belongs on every coaster is what it seems like. Well, of like. course. Of course. So what we need from the coaster boys out there is which Six Flags Park has VR on their SLC, a yellow SLC with the red supports. My okay. guess would be uh, Six Flags America. I think that is might. That it? See, but we I have one on is... our show. That's great. Mark, come to save the day. <laughs> I think it's Mind Eraser. Yeah. Mind Eraser. Yes. Okay. Mind eraser. Mind eraser. Oh yeah, Galactic Attack is on. That's the same one that's on. Um, what's it called? The new Revolution out here at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Yeah. So it's funny to see this VR headset on the ground there. But when anyone wants to make a little POV video for themselves, you're not allowed <laughs> to bring your own GoPro setup, even though that's firmly attached to your head yourself. You know? Why is that? That's a good question. Because they're greedy bastards. Because <laughs> it's not sponsored by Samsung. That's it. That's it. That that's the issue. You know, if 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 they could get some sponsorship from GoPro, then you might be able to go <laughs> and go. bring your own GoPro and get on ride <laughs> footage. You can rent a GoPro for twenty dollars a ride, Ooh. and they wipe it down with those same nasty wipes that they use to wipe down the VR headsets. Perfectly sanitary. Hollywood already has that. On Wild Legal, you can buy a video, a, P or a reverse POV of you riding uh, Wild Eagle. That's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I haven't done it yet, yeah. but it's pretty cool. I see that more and more nowadays. I think they have that on uh, Sierra Sidewinder, too, out here at Knott's. Especially if it's your first ride, your first time riding anything. Right. That's a, right. a good souvenir for the parents. Absolutely. Whip your dick out and make the national news. 
<laughs> no, Garrett, that's going to be next week. <laughs> oh, that's right. I got to go ride the, the, the log Timber ride. Log ride. <laughs> I'll hit Sierra Sidewinder, too. <laughs> so, Mark, we, we, we got a quick question for you. You know, since you're curious or you're, you're excited about what's going on at Cedar Point, are you a wood guy? Are you a steel guy? Or are you a buy rider? And actually, um, real quick, I have to, before we do this, I, I do have to mention, I add this realization, we literally have a representation of all three here now we do you got me who's we the do. wood guy you as the still guy and you know garrett is the fuck boy i'm sorry i mean the <laughs> by rider um whatever you want to call me i'm all good with it i'm good with everything <laughs> hey I see was... you motherfuckers are greedy is what you are <laughs> yeah yeah i will say i i side with garrett here i am a by rider i guess uh i I you like two should steel, fuck. Oh, yeah. And I like my uh, wood as well. So <laughs> Yeah, you all should b- totally hook up. It'd be great. Hey, Mark. Y'all can hey, Mark. go do what y'all do. How you doing, Mark? I like the, I like the way you, you ride coasters. What's going on? <laughs> hey, Goliath. Is it? Yes. I mean, I, normally I wouldn't say this, but I they disgust me. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Do you guys, do you I guys just, realize how bad that is to disgust Slater? Oh, my word. I'm okay oh, with the perv, and you all disgust me. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, no. <laughs> since you're a bi rider, my question is which is your favorite coaster? Well, Millennium Force is my, or Millennium Farce. There you go. Is my number one. Um, yes, I know. I'm it's sorry. Like... I can't hear <laughs> because my eyes rolled so far back in my head, they <laughs> fell out and plugged my ears. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, thanks for coming on our show, Mark. <laughs> I mean, I will say my top three are all intimate. It's Millennium Force, it's I-305, and then Sky Rush, which I know, or Thigh Crush, whatever people <laughs> want to say. But, um... It's gone back and forth between Intimidator and Millennium Force, but I like my wooden as well. So, um, I mean, the Beast is a classic. Hey, I love Mean Streak for what it was. I don't know. Yeah, he loves Mean Streak, <laughs> you guys. And now my uh, eyes have rolled back into my head. Why did you invite this fool on our podcast? I just couldn't imagine that anyone <laughs> whose favorite roller coasters would be Millennium Force and the Beast. Hey, hey, a night ride on that is Seriously, a religious no, experience. no, legitimately, those are like everyone's favorites in 2001. Okay. <laughs> hey, they haven't been topped. Has he been, ha- he's, been, he's been hanging out in the Tiki Shed, hasn't he? Somebody hasn't traveled. I mean, you went to England. Is that the only place you've been? No, I've been all over. I'm just, I'm, I'm not ridiculing. I'm judging you. I'm judging you is well, what I'm okay. doing. Okay, I will not say <laughs> the Beast is like my favorite wooden coaster. I oh, do... hey, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't I'm think anyone would say it's, that. It's a classic. No one would now, say that. I do enjoy Revenge That's like Fire. saying Grandma is your favorite ride. It doesn't, it makes <laughs> yeah. no sense. It's, no, it's like the you beast... keep grandma around for Christmas because you love her, you <laughs> know, and you yeah. celebrate her birthday because it's a miracle she still exists. Yeah. But eventually, and... she's gotta go. <laughs> yeah. Well, in back all in the day, she was groundbreaking. <laughs> in my rankings, I would list Outlaw Run as my top wooden coaster. But my girlfriend's gonna argue that that's not a wooden coaster. So that yeah, is. That's what. <laughs> Oh my God! I was liking you, Mark. What? Why are you attacking me, Mark? This is personal now. She, I mean, yes, she'll call it a hybrid, but yes. Uh, so besides that, I would say like Ravine Flyer or the Voyage at Holiday World. Yes, there I'll you go. The Good choices. Two of my favorite roller coasters, right there: Ravine Flyer Two and the Voyage. There you go. Great choice. Great coasters. Yeah, sure. Well, excellent. Speaking of wooden coasters, I heard from a little birdie, mainly on Twitter, that a certain <laughs> coaster named Invader opened. Invader. 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 
You know, I was I was saying it the other day, and I realized it's kind of a rapey name. Say it again. <laughs> Invader. Invade her. Invader. Invade her pussy. It's very <laughs> rapey. It's very rapey. Well, it is the Vikings. It is. All. It Uh-oh. is. No, Dude. our good friend, our good Ooh. friend Dan Dan the T-shirt guy, as most people have heard of him, at uh, hate him. Most of them hate him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Especially when he controls Coaster fucking radio every week with his. <laughs> I know. Taking Park over. Segment. Name like the name. short little hobbit bitch that he is. Hey. Cancelled on us, by the way. That bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't he supposed to be on last week and we forgot about him? I think he was just trying to hide from the shame. So. Hide from the shame. No, uh, he went, though, he wrote it, and obviously he's well-traveled. He loved it. He really, really liked it. I think it looks good. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to go write it this fall. It looks amazing. It really does. But it's not like something that is going to blow everything else out of the water in 2017. It's a good-looking no. coaster. It's like middle or bottom of the list for this year. It's, and- it's, the, it's like the roller coaster you settle for. Right. That's a great way to put it. You know, you're like, well, I didn't have one of these at my park. You know, I'm not going to complain. I'm glad they put one in. It's a miracle that the Bush properties are doing shit anyway. <laughs> yeah. <so. laughs> hey, they've been chugging along. I mean, blast out now. last year, Invader this year, let's hope. Uh, they got that one out in Texas going up, too, this year. That one looks pretty yes, good. And don't which forget I the have... San Diego one, too. Yeah, you know what sucks? I'm literally going to be out there. I'm going to be out there, and I am missing it by a week. Ooh, so close. Mm, yes, rough. that, it really does suck. So I'm just skipping the park altogether. I'm like, oh. eh, fuck it. Why go? So who out of the group of us four is going to ride Invader first? It's going to be either me or Goliath, unless Mark has plans. No, no. I will probably be there at the Coaster fucking radio meetup. And that's when Ooh. I will ride Invader. And I will push you down and get in front of you just to make sure that I get it first. I'm all about my word. So, <laughs> so if you both ride it at the same time, is it who's closer to the front of the coaster car? Who do you who do you dub first in that who's scenario? Biggest? Who's biggest? <laughs> the magic seat is at the, at the rear of the train, from what I've heard. Yes. So whoever oh, yeah. gets the rear of the train gets the first credit. Gets first the who you're talking to. It depends Back if they're seat. a top or a bottom, how they feel about that, honestly. Back wow. seat's where it's at. Well, he's a bottom. So <laughs> there you go. Obviously, we know that now. So your wife has a collection of dildos and other various things, apparently. Um, <laughs> that's interesting. Bring those to the next event. We'll have show and tell. Yeah. We'll have fights on Invader. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, if we could ever, like, ride, I don't know, like, racer at Kennywood and do dildo fight. (laughs) That would be the happiest day of my life. Somebody email those people right now. (laughs) Kennywood's like, as long as it's not guns, please. Just as long as it's not guns. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God. (laughs) So (laughs) we're going to jump overseas again. And it, to something called a, and I'm going to pr- mispronounce this, a lek? Lek coaster? It, it's, I believe it's a lek. Lek. <laughs> Gotta have that. Lech. No, I, 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 I bet. I'm pretty <laughs> yeah. sure it's just lek, but. You know what? Well, Wait a second. Lech. Let me, let me ask my Jewish friends. <laughs> I will find, is this Jewish? Ask the panel. I'll ask He's got your board. I'm, I'm going to text board. Ariel. I'm going to text Ariel. I'm going to text Brian. I'm going to text, is Chris Jewish? I don't know. They're, they're, no. they're like, no. Okay. Well, I have a lot of them and I'm going to find out. But this is Polish, though, right? Yes. This is at a park called Legendia. You know what I love is that so they're getting a, what, that awesome new Vacoma coaster, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This thing looks amazing. Holy crap. Why can't we get something steel like this? And compared to the other shit that they have, it's like your local shitty theme park that is o- that the only coasters it has are ones that used to be on trucks yesterday. 
Those are the coasters that this one has. I mean, if you fucking okay. look at it. So they desperately needed. They desperately needed. It's they've got a Zyklon Galaxy. They've got a Tic Tac Tornado. It's a Soquet. Have you guys ever heard of a Soquet? No. 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 Never. No, there's a reason. They also have a ride called Scary Toy Factory, which is basically a wild mouse looking thing, but it's got tarps around it that looks like the Himalayans. That's when you know it's hardcore. But Let Coaster looks pretty fantastic. I mean, especially if this park really needs it. It's kind of like the style of a Eurofighter coaster, but instead of just like one or two trains, it's a full train, two by two seats. You know, this is oddly familiar. This is an episode of flashbacks for me because this reminds me a lot of a little park in Germany that added a little ride called Expedition G-Force. There was nothing at that park. And guess what? There still is nothing at the park. It did (laughs) not work. It did not work. They just got in huge debt (laughs) and it bankrupted the park. (laughs) I I would like to point out that this little coaster, while reminiscent of Expedition G-Force because of that awesome first drop on this thing, um, this one only costs, what, 4.6 million euros, which is pretty cheap. That's cheap. Cheap, cheap. (laughs) <laughs> it's a Vacoma, so maybe yeah. Vacoma's trying to get into the market and say, "Hey, we've got cool rides too. We don't just have right. We don't just make roller coasters for Disney World. We make coasters for other theme parks too." No, what's happening is Vacoma is the abusive ex you used to have, who's like, "I've changed. I've changed. Please give me another chance. I'll give you a huge discount on your new ride. <laughs> now, I won't beat you anymore. I swear." So they're trying to get in the market, so people will get to see what they've done. They have. They have changed, though. And just like uh, any relationship with Vacoma, we all know it'll start out beautiful, but it'll start beating you later on in this absolutely. <laughs> a couple of years down the line once the honeymoon's over. But, you know, that's that. that I mean, shit, B&M does that. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess that's any yeah. relationship. No. <laughs> and then then you end up Intamin pulling an island do that of because adventure. they're not reliable enough to beat you. But then you end up pulling uh, uh, Islands of Adventure and you just end up dating the same guy again like they did with Hulk. <laughs> but he's changed. Yeah. He's different now. <laughs> yeah, not really. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're Slater, you count it as a second credit. Universal <laughs> needs to go to therapy so it can properly break up with the Hulk. And it is a second credit. Actually, no. Yes. I'll say I don't, I don't count that one as a it's second credit. Same coaster. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> we know you're going to count that as a second credit, Slater. I just said I don't. <laughs> we know you're going to count it as a second credit. A no. coaster boys are death, Brett. Right. Yes. Get that I'm going up. to. Yep. Okay. Here's the, here's the reason why I will never count it as a second credit. I never rode the fucking original, bitches. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's and there you have it. He would have counted it if he had ridden the first one. Actually, I'm having a mini, uh, a mini panic attack lately because I'm like they're talking about taking out Dragon Challenge. And you want to talk about a oh. ride that I've wanted to ride since I was a little kid? It's that, yeah. even though it doesn't duel. So I, I'm thinking I'm just gonna have to like book a weekend and just go down there, get my credit, and that's two for sure. Well, okay, that's <laughs> two, yes. But I mean, you gotta go get those credits and before they take it out. Yeah, it's that's right. worth traveling for, for sure. Yeah. I just gotta convince my boyfriend that we should drop all that money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the hard part. <laughs> but yeah. you don't understand. They're taking it out. It's like, but you don't understand. We have a house. We have to pay. <laughs> it's like the kid that wants the Nintendo Switch just to play Zelda. It's like, bitch, we ain't dropping four hundred dollars just so you could do one thing. <laughs> uh. If only it was that cheap. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's one day at Universal. And you don't even get Volcano Bay. <laughs> God. All right, Mark, I got a question for you. What theme park, if you could pick any theme park in the world, would be your like dream park to visit? 
Well, okay, so that's a hard one because I don't want to sound like everyone else and say Europa Park. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> everyone else says that, yes, but I would like to go to Europa Park. Well, okay, see. that's the one time where I'm going to say, though, it's okay to be a sheep, so to speak, because they're all correct. <laughs> okay? <laughs> that's right. the park to go to. Yeah. Um, that's what I've besides heard. that, though, I would really like to go to uh, Fantasia Land just to ride Terran. Yes. That looks amazing. The theming, everything. So, I mean, yes, the whole Germany trip. But after hearing Drew the intern's experience at Fantasia Land, I was a little like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> but what? have any of you seen the flume ride they built at Fantasia Land? Yes, that looks amazing as well. Yeah, that is Chiapas, in- yes. Fucking sane. How is yeah. that a real ride? I I don't know. <laughs> it's Choppas. If you haven't looked it up, both of you all should should go look at that. And everyone out there in you know the podcast land, Choppas, C H A P A S at Fantasia Land. It is insane. Unfortunately, though, I don't think it's the back to back seats, so you can't do the uh, Costa Sutra on that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is truly important. So we've asked you, Ben, of course, you know, and and I, I like that. I'm starting to like you again. Um, that's a good answer. So, um, one of this is a two parter question. First, what's your most hated ride? And if you had to pick one person within the theme park community. That you could make ride that ride for all eternity. Who would it be and why? <laughs> Garrett's a fucking asshole. He picked people okay. he liked. Okay. Well, here, here. I, I guess I got an <laughs> idea. We'll keep it local to you because this is my, I my experience. So my most hated ride is Timberwolf at Worlds of Fun. That yep. thing <laughs> sucked. I mean, yes, Woody's or bumpy as shit, whatever, is old. That thing had a bump going up the lift hill. <laughs> yes! <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> like, and so, okay, now, uh, on the second part of that, who to pick to ride it? Well, I guess we'll go with Coaster fucking Radio, Dan the T-shirt guy, because he seems to find something good in every single ride. <laughs> like, so I want him to ride that and tell me what the fuck is good about that ride, because it is god awful. Good luck, Dan. You know what, good Mark? Luck. I'm going to make you a promise. I'm going to get a video of that happening. <laughs> okay. For you. For you. I'm going to get Dan out there, and I'm going to have him give you a call out and be like, this is for you, Mark, and he will find something good about that ride. You're right. He'll find good something idea. good about that piece of shit ride. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dan's very good at, you know, making an, a shitty ride not so shitty. Why don't you tell us about a shitty experience? Maybe he could come on when he comes on next, and he could tell you why that's not a shitty experience. <laughs> T- tell us about your worst <laughs> theme park experience. Okay, well, um, so that's kind of a hard one. I mean, I've had uh, some, you know, good and bad ones. But I know the most recent where the first time ever, I will say, weather really affected me. Because anytime I plan these trips, my girlfriend's like, oh, what if it rains? Blah, blah. Well, there's other shit to do. Like, And that's why I like Silver Dollar City. Go underground. <laughs> You're protected from the rain. But anyway, we went to uh, Florida. And we went to Bush Gardens. And, of course, we go right for Cheetah Hunt because it's the lowest capacity ride. You know, get that done first. Well, it's also the lowest of the ground. Apparently, the wind speeds that day. So nothing was fucking open. We went to Cheetah Hunt. Wow. And then we went on Montu. And those were the only two rides we rode all fucking day besides the oh. train. We were waiting for Falcon's Fury. And I kept checking the weather app. I'm like, all right, the wind's going to die down. No, it never fucking died down. And yeah, Shikra never opened. Kumba never opened. So not their fault per se. And that was probably the most buzzed my girlfriend has ever gotten at a park because that's all we did. Walk around and keep drinking beer because (laughs) nothing else was open. At least it's not Dollywood because you wouldn't be able to do that at Dollywood. True. And you know what? That's a shitty day. But no one has still topped my day at Cedar Point, where the only ride I rode was fucking Mean Streak. So- <laughs> Did you at least get a jellyfish ride? No! No jellyfish ride. So it pissed me off. That's, that's sad. <laughs> yeah. To say the least. 
Well, that does sound like a pretty bad day, but I kind of want to go back to Fantasia Land because I've heard rumors that there's a new Flying Dutchman coaster that could be going in there. Have you guys heard about this? So what you're saying is... That my dog was saying something real quick. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hear that. Okay, well, what's your dog's name? We might as well have a famous dog like other podcasts. Yeah. That one's Roxo. <laughs> Roxo. One. Nah, your dog's not named after a roller coaster. That's not cool at all. <laughs> His name is Val Raven. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. He's very tame. He doesn't do shit. <laughs> ah! uh, so, a... Anyway. Flying Dutchman at Fantasia Land. So I guess Vacoma is like Oof. busy out in <laughs> overseas. Invest in Vacoma, people. Go buy yourself some stacks. So have we have we heard anything about this? Is there pictures? Is this just a rumor? They have talked about it. There's a loopings.nl, which you have to use Google uh, Translate to uh, be able to read for those of us who don't read. Uh, Dutch. <laughs> it's a flying sure. Dutchman. Is not a Dutch mark. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Close. But Dutch. German, yeah. I believe, right? Well, in German, Netherlands, Dutch is practically the Dutch, same. Dutch, Netherlands, you know, yeah, yeah. Dutch, Germany, it's all the same, right? So it's Anywho. just the rumor they're talking about on some website that you translated. So right. this could say something completely different. They and they could be saying they're getting a Dutch made ice cream. Yeah. You're right. They 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 could say that. You know, actually, this is this is a good point. Recently Vacoma was in the news because they were at their plant doing a new track style. Y'all saw that? It was like that weird sideways track. That was for a new style of flying coaster is what was rumored. Is that what it's for? Is Are they getting this new style or next generation flying coaster? That's probably what they're rumored about. People were saying it was going to go to Disney, but now I'm wondering if it's going to Fantasia Land, if that's what the rumors are saying. That would be interesting. That would be. We know Disney is not doing anything new or controversial. I would say that makes sense because the quality of rides that Fantasia Land has built recently look pretty high, and a Flying Dutchman would be a pretty low quality ride. Uh, <laughs> well, if it's a true Flying Dutchman, could it just be like a Flying Dutchman style of ride, even though they may have someone else other than Bacoma make it? Well, I think it's like probably a new style. This report initiates to loopings. The German theme park have ordered a flying coaster attraction at the Dutch builder Vacoma. They also saw, they noticed a board that had references to a theme, including a Zeppelin and the word air rail on the facade of a building there at Fantasia Land. So all you got to do is... Uh, do a little bit of spray painting, and you get the coaster nerds all riled up about a new ride. Uh, like we mentioned, Vacoma, they're, they're working on an image change. They're, they really have updated their rides, and uh, I'm actually excited for the future of Vacoma. I mean, they're leaving their SLC ways behind them, hopefully. 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 It's a new era for Vacoma. Well, I remember when I was your age, and, you know, Vacomas were shit. You know? It was just one thing. It was just boomerangs as far as the eye could see. When, <laughs> I remember when I could buy a Vacoma for $2 in lint in my pocket. You know. You probably still could, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Uh, so that would be exciting for Fantasia Land. Um, I also heard there was a new, a new policy on El Toro that might be raising some eyes. Have you guys heard about this one? I have. I did because my friend Ariel, well, okay, Goliath's friend too, I guess, was actually at that park yesterday. Ooh. And um, they are being real assholes out there now. Uh, they have a two security guards stationed out front of the entrance of El Toro, literally patting people down if they have to, to make sure that they do not have cell phones or any other loose items on their... I, I'm, I'm assuming 
that we're going to be seeing metal detectors coming shortly because <clears throat> there's nothing a slow loading instrument ride needs more than this. Uh, <laughs> Six Flags has a different idea. The reason that you're no longer, they're removing the ability to have stuff because they're throwing VR on it. Uh, on, oh, well, I mean, that makes sense. Then something will actually happen on El Boro. You're welcome, Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> it might be more entertaining oh. if you had VR. I'm just saying. Actually, you know, I will say we will. We do say that Dan always has something positive to say about a ride. Get him to talk about El Toro, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh god so what do you guys think about this new policy do you think it's worth it i mean it's on a sh- kind of a shitty coaster to care about but i do you think this is a good idea i don't care i can't ride no. it i'm too fat <laughs> yeah, here. see i've tried I wish they would i've do... sat in the seats and 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 got and had to walk away so fuck the ride ops laughed and laughed and <laughs> they're pointing slapping their knees <laughs> <laughs> losing their breath uh, i'm glad i can entertain somebody oh no <laughs> <laughs> there's plenty of things to walk away from in life and el toro is certainly one of them oh nice. it definitely <laughs> is <laughs> so um i i don't know i think this is a good policy i i think they it's kind of stupid that it's on El Toro. I wish they would take this policy and be strict with it on dueling dragons and then actually have them duel again. I would say it's Six Flags' way of selling their uh, flash passes because you, you see that line of all those people checking your shit. You're like, I don't want to pay for this or wait in this. Let me pay some extra money. Does the flash pass skip all that? Like the <laughs> pat down policy? Well, the Super Diamond Mega Edition. Yeah, you have to get that because, you know. (laughs) That's actually a good question. You know, you get a tattoo right on your dick uh, when you get that. (laughs) What what, what would you all get tattooed on your dick by, mind you, a a minimum wage theme park employee? You have to pick something. (laughs) How so, Mark? What would you get tattooed on your dick? Um... We'll go with the uh, top thrill dragster, I guess. The top hat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would be great. We'll go, with, we'll go with that. <laughs> all down to the scaffolding, the Christmas tree lights, everything. We'll <laughs> put it all on there. Oh. It's the perfect coaster. Yeah, That's really right. the only one I can think of that would be perfect for that. Otherwise, <laughs> what would you pick, Slater? Well, you know, <laughs> there's plenty of room. So I was thinking I would have the full layout of the <laughs> ultimate tattooed on my deck. But you'd have to use a microscope. Hmm. So, or VR goggles, maybe. Maybe I'll have VR goggles just put right on the head. See, what you do is make a VR setup so that when they look at your dick, it's covered in the tattoos. That way, you just just need the VR headset. That's what all the, the theme parks are doing nowadays. Right. Instead of real theming. That's True. that's that's what that's that's mine. I'm 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 gonna do I'm gonna do a VR. I'm gonna let some genius programmer thing do a VR of my cock, and then you VR know, dick. I could VR dick, and then I could sell it to a bunch of different places, and I can live off the royalties. It's cute that you think that thing's gonna pay the bills. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, Mister Gare Bear. What are you? What are you gonna do? Um. I'd put Gwazi on it because no one knew he's ridden it since 2008. <laughs> <laughs> so are you are, are what you're saying now? Now here's the question: Are parts being used somewhere else? Are, are the cars used somewhere else in a new experience? <laughs> the location no. is being scouted by others, but that's about no. it. Here, here's the thing. He, he's having that tattoo on his dick because it's standing but not operating. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> you tear it out. So Hashtag well. tear it out. Oh, no, don't. <laughs> don't tear it out. I still love it. That's something we did on last week's episode. <laughs> There's so many good memories attached to it. Don't get rid of Mark. We're talking about ripping things out. My question is, if you had to rip out something at your local park, at Cedar Point, not at your favorite park, at 
if you had to rip something out at Cedar Point, what would you rip out? Well, um, Val Raven, say Val Raven. <laughs> I, I kind of wanted to go with Gatekeeper. Oh, but, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, Good choice. I, I mean, Good choice. I've what been, would you replace uh, Gatekeeper with? Yes. Just a better fucking wing coaster. I the mean, fucking I've been would be better. <laughs> a wild eagle's better. Thunderbird's better. Hell, the swarm in England is better. The only wing coaster I've been on that's shittier than Gatekeeper is the one at Six Flags Great America. And that's it. <laughs> Any better flying coaster I would put there. Or wing you, coaster. You know how I know that that ride at Great America is shit? Because I forget it exists. <laughs> I forget that park even has a wing coaster, and so does everybody else. They're, yeah. That's always the ride where like, oh yeah, they did get one, didn't they? <laughs> but you know, you know what people do remember? They, they they do remember that they used to have that stand-up coaster. <laughs> people remember that more fondly than their wing coaster. That says something. Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> and we used to have a podcast people listen to so we're gonna wrap up the show here real quick but you know mark i want you to actually share a story with us real quick i know you told me about it previously but you had a kind of a fun experience at conneaut lake park uh so tell us about that well i will say um we went to conneaut lake park because we thought it was the final year like it is every year but anyway so we get there there's only two other cars in the parking lot and i remember it the we're getting out of our car uh there's four of us my girlfriend and i and two of my other friends um and there's a mother with her daughter and i remember the mother even saying like oh my daughter's not happy to be here at all but uh this place has memories but anyway <laughs> so <laughs> we go through the front gates and if you want to call it that. And there's no one mm. even there. All the windows are boarded up. We're like, is this place even open? <laughs> wow. what? There's, I'm pretty sure spray painted on one of the fences that is half burned down because of their infamous fires. That they had is a spray paint that says tickets with an arrow pointing toward that. So uh, what I love, <laughs> what I, what I love about this is that, you're actually making this place sound nicer than it is. <laughs> you guys went there voluntarily. <laughs> yes. So anyway, once we find our way to the ticket booth, which is in the middle of the park for some reason, <laughs> not even at the front of the park, um, there's a little jar out front with like some dollar bills in it that's saying, save our park, <laughs> which it's like, okay. But... Wow. Um, so we buy our tickets for the for the rides. We wanted to ride Blue Streak, which at that time you had to pay just to ride that ride and, you know, buy tickets. If you bought an all-day wristband, it didn't include the coaster, which is fucking stupid, which they eventually stopped doing now. But anyway, at that time you did. And so we buy that. We buy for the dark ride there, which is a credit, not a credit, not quite sure. <laughs> um, it's a credit. It's not a credit. It's a credit. Or <laughs> it's classified carrot. as a credit. It's a credit. It's not a coaster credit. <laughs> um, Whatever, the, bitch. <laughs> the carousel and the um, bumper cars, which the bumper cars we had to ride separately because there was only two working bumper cars. While the oh, rest two of more the coaster cars, cars. <laughs> <laughs> were in a corner. <laughs> so the four of us had to ride the bumper cars separately. Anyway. As we buy all these tickets, the, the the ticket booth person asks us if, as next to the jar that says "Save Our Park" is a jar of gum, <laughs> which they were selling for thirty five cents. So of course we're like, "Fuck it!" We all bought four pieces of gum, and it even says <laughs> "Gum" for the, our famous gum wall. <laughs> so we bought the gum for thirty five cents. Wow. Chewed it, <laughs> rode that dark ride, and stuck our gum on the gum wall. <laughs> Wow. wow. They're actually like they're not only like okay with the gum wall, they're like advertising it. Oh Come yes, your oh, yes. Yes. gum wall. It's all yes. we're known for. Yes. Please. There's a sign when you're riding the ride. There's a big sign. <laughs> like professionally made sign about it. It's great. Oh, That's ridiculous. Wow. <laughs> So I, I think my favorite part of this is the idea that there's four of you and you had to do the bumper cars in two 
<laughs> yes. separate sessions. Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, is it just like head on collisions the whole time? Well, just Well, boom. no, that was the best part is of course, you know, we're laughing at the fact that we even have to ride separately. So I rode with my friend and my girlfriend rode with, you know, our other friend. And like they swingers. must have not been paying attention at all to this guy. As he's given instructions and he specifically said no head on collisions. So the first thing my girlfriend and her friend do head on collide, which I'm yeah. sure is the reason why all those bumper cars, <laughs> because it did not sound <laughs> like a good oh. collision. Like, like they broke some more shit. It's like 50 years of that's been happening <laughs> and nobody's fixed shit in that time. <laughs> no. Just pile it up over there. I think we got one more working still. No head-on <laughs> collisions. We can't afford it. So, Goliath Garrett, should we try to get the management of Conneaut Lake Park on our show? They would probably come on the show. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Oh my you know, god! Coverage from anyone? I mean, yes, I mean, please. What, what's what's this? What's this computer? <laughs> is 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 is? Uh, how, how do I listen to this thing? <laughs> Are you talking about a radio? No. Are you actually on the radio? It's a talk show, but I have to have a computer for it. What the hell is this? <laughs> All right, here's what actually makes me sad. Our listenership per episode probably equals about what <laughs> the amount of people who come to visit their park in a year. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay, the good news is Caudillot Lake seems to actually be doing boys. better. That's the only reason that you go is, is because you're a coaster boy and you need those two credits. Yeah. That's what? it. That's it. Okay, okay, but Blue Streak, what did you think of Blue Streak? I mean, I think it's been, like they've done a lot of work to it, obviously, yeah. since you've been there. Because I'm guessing you were there around 2012, 2013. Um, yeah, I think it was maybe 2014, but yeah, right around that area. Um, <clears throat> And that was the first time we went. We went one other time, and it did look like the park was improving. Um, but I got eaten alive by mosquitoes, which was so he's not been there fun. twice. But th- so yes, you've been there twice. twice? Went back? Yeah, yeah. He went back. Yeah, I mean, dedication. I take I take people back just because. Oh, you have to see this. It's like seeing a <laughs> exactly. car wreck. It's like well, that's uh, we went back because the only reason we went back we were. Even debating, there's uh, Ace has an event, so we went the day that they had the event. We didn't go to the actual event because we didn't want to be stuck all day at Conneaut Lake. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we went up there just to see what other you know coaster nerds and some of the friends and what they thought of Blue Streak. Now I did like Blue Streak. Blue Streak was the reason for going back. Um, the park is only honestly probably a half hour farther from me than Cedar Point is. So, but you know, <laughs> um, but so our first ride on blue streak though, um, I rode in the front, um, and my girlfriend and our other friend, um, rode in the back. Wait a second. Um, wait a second. Your girlfriend seems to really like your other friend. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the group of us, um, the uh, my one friend, uh, his name's Johnny. I guess he's more, I guess, my friend than, say, theirs. So that's why it, we paired up that way when there's four of us. But anyway, um, so Johnny and I rode in the um, front seat and, you know, thought it was a good ride, whatever. Um, other friend uh, gets off at the end of the ride, and he's like, I'm never going on that thing ever again. <laughs> that thing <laughs> was a death trap. So, and we're like, what the hell are you talking about? It wasn't that bad. So the sign go, of a good wood coaster right there. Yeah, <laughs> yes. So, yeah. of course, you know, we, we do the rest of it. We do our bumper car experience, our gum wall experience, all that, and we decide, okay, let's give, let's ride Blue Streak again before we leave. So, we switch. We ride in the back. <laughs> they ride in the front. And that back seat, on that drop, you literally like come out the craziest airtime I've ever experienced. And yep. at the bottom of that drop, my friend was like, All right, now I know what the fuck he was talking about. <laughs> like you feel like you're gonna die. And the best part is before we got on the second time, there was literally one of the employees drilling something into the one of the seats in in the back of the coaster, like just, just has a drill screwing something back in and then all right guys get in <laughs> that's connie wow connie out like for you and he went did back. you notice going up that lift hill that it actually like swayed oh, like you yes. thought it was going to and yes. the trains you felt the trains bowing out yeah. did you notice it, that yeah 
Yes, the train wow, like man. literally. I feel like part it comes off the track as much as it physically can. Oh my like, gosh. Uh, like, it's dangerous. It's not safe. No one should go, but everyone should go. Uh, <laughs> yes. If you like to flirt with death, you got to stop by Connie at Lake. Oh, yeah. So, you know what? <laughs> this has been a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Mark, for Absolutely. coming. Absolutely. You know, yeah, yes. for coming on but, our show. Oh, no problem. You know, Thanks for last, having me. You know, tell everybody, you know, enjoy your five minutes of, I won't call it fame, but I will call it embarrassment. <laughs> so, uh, so. Uh, enjoy your future regret that you're making right now, you know. <laughs> yeah. But, but we're, we we got to wrap this up. We got to wrap this up. So, you know, it's, it's been it's been great having you here. Um, you know, I'll, I'm going to thank you personally. Thanks for listening to the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, you may or may not keep yeah. listening to it. I don't know. <laughs> I uh, hope you do. Yeah, yeah I will. Uh, well, good, good, good. <laughs> good uh, it's good, only going to get worse. Garrett, what's wrong now? I've just been in your basement for so long, I can't even remember what outside looks like. I'm from California, man. I'm losing my tan. Oh, God, you're fucking spoiled, you know that. Jim Reed Anderson over there doesn't get half of what I give you. Yeah, but... I'm prettier than he is. Well, I bought you that douchey pair of sunglasses and that year's supply of Axe body spray, didn't I? That should be more than enough to make you feel like you're still in California. Yeah, you did, but it's gone already. Gone? (laughs) Oh, Jesus Christ, Garrett. Fine. I'll bring down a sun lamp and get you more Axe body spray. But if you bite one more person down here, that's it. I tell you what. If you behave, I'll let you watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians, but no more. You aren't getting any more California from me than that. Oh, come on. I brought sexiness to your show. And I know I've made your numbers jump. Doesn't that entitle me to something? Listen, fuckboy. We do a podcast, and nobody gives a shit what you look like. And you most definitely don't have the deep, sultry tones that Goliath has. And you'll never be as witty as me, bitch. Why are you so mean to me? I'm pretty. <laughs> oh, God. What are you doing? No. Stop it. Uh, fuck it. Fine. I'll let you upstairs. Really? I guess, but only for a little bit. But you put that leash and harness on first. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go. Hurry up. I guess you were unconscious when I brought you down here the first time, so you haven't seen any of this, so just follow me. Wow, this place is bigger than my dick! (laughs) Well, of course it is, honey. Everything is. (laughs) And this is just the pool house. But do be careful by the pool. Uncle Kevin dropped a whole bunch of acid in there last night during a party, and, well, if you fall in, you'll be tripping balls so hard, you'll think Worlds of Fun is a good park. (laughs) Oh, my God, your pool has a white sand beach? No, (laughs) that's cocaine. Really? Oh, fuck yeah. (sighs) Holy shit, that's better than bouncing on EB's dick. Fuck, is that the main house? My summer home, yes. Modest, I know, but and I don't want to be garish. Well, let's go in. Good evening, sir. Can I get you anything? A drink, the paper, a Malaysian fuckboy, perhaps? Oh, nothing now. Thank you. Very well. Was that Neil Patrick Harris? Oh, him? Oh, I think so. You know, I have a lot of people who work for me, so it's hard to keep track, really. This way. Where are we going? Oh, I'm taking you to where you're staying. Staying? But what about the basement? Well, yes. I've decided after seeing you in the light that you are prettier than Jim Reed Anderson, so 
I guess I can find room for you up here. But you cause trouble even once and I'll be back down in the basement for you. Here, you can have EB's old room. You used to let EB live here? Oh, I did, but he kept trying to escape and he kept screaming something about how desperately he needed Prince Mike Collins' cock. I mean, shit, can you blame him? I mean, with a cock that big, I guess not. Anyways, take this harness off and put your stuff over there with Clint's beanies and electric nipple clamps. Nah, I'm good. I like the harness. It makes me look sexy. Oh, sweetheart. I need that harness so I can go get Drew the intern. He's in the holding cell and, well, he's a slippery one. He's a hard one to get, you know. You know I offered the legend $100 to deliver him here for me, but he said he'd happily do it for free. Something about Avatar and being nobody's bitch but his girlfriend's. Hmm. Anyways, follow me. Oh, sweet. Can I help? Oh, well, of course, darling. I couldn't pin him down without you. Oh, boy. I like him fluffy. Here, intern, intern, intern. Well, now that Mark's gone, we can finally talk shit about him. God, that fucking guy. God. Was he Uh, too straight for you guys? No, way too gay. Fucking queer. We don't deal with none of that gay shit on RTO here. Yes, there's no gayness on this show. (laughs) No, no, Mark was great. But (laughs) we have got to fucking go because we actually have lives outside of this fucking show, believe it or not. So we're going to do what we normally do. And that's tell you how you all can make your lives better by talking to us. Absolutely. Who doesn't want to make their life better by talking to us? Sane people. So anyway, <laughs> Garrett, why don't you tell them? How can they reach you? Well, now that I am uh, officially part of the RTO podcast, I have uh, switched my Twitter over to at RTO Gare Bear on Twitter. That's RTO G A R. B E A R. Y'all can find his twinky little ass out there. Now, ten nudes. Ten nudes. <laughs> Especially you ladies. He loves the boobies. Totally into the boobies. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm just gonna get pictures of tits floating my DMs all day long. Right now. Yeah, but it's gonna be Goliath. He's gonna be <laughs> <laughs> shh, shh, shh. He doesn't know my alternate account. Shh. <laughs> 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 All right, and Lion. <laughs> Where can they find you? Not at that apparent alternate account, which I'm going to find now. <laughs> well, my official Twitter account is RTO Goliath. And you can also find me on live.me. I'm Coaster Fleet. Come join us as we play Coasters Against Humanity every Thursday night. Yes. That's going to be awesome. Of course, you all can find me at RTO Slater. And exciting news, we have another Twitter because who doesn't need four Twitters? Of course. <laughs> we have at Ride This One. Official show Twitter account. Official show Twitter account. And we're just going to post to that randomly, and you're not going to know which one of us is posting. That's the whole beautiful thing about a shared Twitter account is you have no idea which one of us is supposed to be. It's basically like dick roulette. I was just going to say that. It's Russian roulette with dicks. Uh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the show always was meant to <laughs> Of course, you can reach us other ways. We're not just on Twitter. We also have a Facebook. Yes, that's at facebook.com slash ride this one. If you haven't caught on to the name by now. So make sure you stop by that Facebook page and leave us a like if you want more RTO goodness. And we actually have a phone number. If you don't know what the Facebook is, you can give us a call or send us a text to 26 Ride This, which is 267 433 8447. We would love to hear from you. That's right. And we also have an email, ride this one podcast at gmail.com. And you know, if you enjoyed Mark, 
You can also reach out to Mark on Twitter. And you can find him at Demarksta, which is D-A-M-A-R-K-S-T-A. Yeah, he really, really wants dick pics. Like, really bad. Like, he would not stop talking about it. I think, like, I edited three hours of just him talking about hoping to get tons of, tons of, like, dick pics. He likes, he likes, like, lots of foreskin, like, hanging oh off the God. end. He, he loves it. It's his favorite. He likes favorite. that extra slack. <laughs> it's, it's his absolute favorite. Um, so oh definitely do that. Contact Mark. He, he's, a, he's a really great guy. And if you're still listening to us, please go to iTunes or Stitcher or however you listen to us and give us a good review. Absolutely. Because you know what? You deserve it. Absolutely. This podcast is about you. <laughs> we do. We, we do this for you. <laughs> Garrett does it because he has to. <laughs> it's the only way they feed me every week. <laughs> well, food. Food. It's the only way we feed him food. <laughs> well, he's not a vegan, so at least we know that. Nope. <laughs> no, no. Couldn't get by without that meat. <laughs> without that meat. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. We are going to be back with a really big show. I'm not telling you who's coming because in case they cancel like other bitches I know. But for real, we're going to actually stop talking now. We're going to do our final words. This is our new tradition. So, Garrett, final words. Fabio wore that bird better. Goliath, final word. I'm jealous of the European steel. Yes, yes. And my final words are, Mark, I already sent you my dick pic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Peace. Goodbye. Boy, back. Ride This One Podcast. If you want family friendly, go listen to Coaster Fucking Radio. Well, that's embarrassing.